Okay, so, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the worst mushroom trip of my life. And for some reason, this gloomy, frosty morning has just been reminding me of the morning I did this mushroom trip. Allegedly. A lot, because like, it's gloomy, it's frosty, it's the same temperature, it's the same time of year it was. It's ridiculous, guys, and I have been just having crazy flashbacks all morning, so I figured I might as well hop on here and talk about this trip while it's fresh on my brain. And, um, yeah, film some of the sick frost. We're heading over to the store right now. I'm gonna go grab a beverage because I still have my morning voice and it fucking sucks. So we're gonna go get a nice bevy, and then we're gonna go walk up on the trails and tell you about the worst mushroom trip of my fucking life, boys. So yeah, stay tuned. I have this paint stirrer, and I'm gonna try and scrape the frost with it, and you guys are gonna get an inside view of that. So yeah. All right, so I'm gonna show you how far I made it right now. Check this out. Check. Check it. Uh-huh. Mirrors too. Uh-huh. But for real though, we gotta give this like five minutes more to defrost because uh, I have an intersection right here and I don't wanna die. So let's get into the story right now before I have my bevy and uh, you guys can enjoy me. Have a, a squeaky, a squeaky voice. So this story all starts out in February of 2022, last year. And I was living with my parents at the time and very bored. I had nothing better to do. Me and my homie had some shrooms. We had, these ones were actually left over from the previous trip. I had bought some other ones off the black market, allegedly. And, uh, but yeah, we decided that these other ones were gonna be too old if we didn't do them. So we fucking were gonna trip on these and we had a fair bit left, so we were gonna do a big trip. Now at the time, I had recently gotten my wisdom teeth pulled out and been under anesthesia. And I had also been put on antibiotics and painkillers for my teeth. And if you don't know, painkillers and mushrooms are a terrible mix and a great way to die or uh, permanently damage yourself. So highly do not recommend that. Literally just the road to a bad trip or permanent damage. But my dumbass didn't know that for shit and I was just wanting to get fucked up, right? So what did I do? I did shrooms while I was on antibiotics, painkillers, alcohol, and THC. Not a good mix, boys. Not a good mix. I do not recommend doing this. I don't recommend. Do not, do not recommend. We've gotten the fact that I am not encouraging doing this out of the way. Let's get back into the story. So it was early morning of a random day in February, 2022. I was super bored and I hit up my buddy to see if he wanted to do these shrooms with me. I had them in a container in my bedroom. I'd had them stored there for a couple months at that point. And I was like, hell yeah, I still got these. We gotta get them out of the way. My buddy and I aren't wor working right now. We're both laid off. I wasn't doing YouTube at the time. I didn't care about my health at the time. Fuck it, let's do it. So I text him on Snapchat. I'm like, yo, we're gonna call him Jonathan for this story. I'm like, yo, Jonathan, let's fucking pop shrooms to it this morning. He was like, eh, all right, I'm down. We can go on a hike up the mountain again. I was like, bet, bet, let's do it. So we pull up to his same crib from the last story, the rat house, man. And the rat house is gonna be in all my trip stories because it's the only place I've tripped. And it's probably the reason 90% of them have not been a good time. So Jonathan lived five minutes away from me, right? This worked out perfectly. I drove straight over to my neighbor's house. I bailed in with him. We drove over to his house, which was the rat house next door to his house. So it was like three houses over from mine and we just lived out in the middle of nowhere. So this was pretty much our entire neighborhood, right? It fucking worked out perfectly. I bring my baggie with me. We go, we bail in his car. We're over at his rat house within 10 minutes. We are chilling. I decide that this time we're gonna try lemon teching the mushrooms, right? Because my stomach felt all ugh, queasy from the antibiotics and shit. So I was like, let's mix this in lime or lemon juice. I heard that like degrades it down and makes it digest faster and makes you not have nausea. So we mix it up in some lemon juice, let it sit for about 15 minutes. I think we did, I think it was like 2.7 grams. 
We did actually have a scale this time. It was the one time I've weighed it, and it's probably too much because normally I think I take less than that. But I think it was 2.7 grams, and we lemon teched it. So that fucking makes it stronger, boys. This was crazy. And I was on painkillers. Oh my god. Anyways, that's later on in the story. So 15 minutes go by, our shit's soaking up. I think we were hitting some dab pens or something, like just getting slightly high. Maybe we had a little bit of butt on us, but I think it was mostly like distillate at the time that we were smoking on. So I believe maybe we had a joint, like a pre-roll as well. But anyways, so we're smoking on our distillate and the fi we let our shit soak. We take our shots of the mushroom, right? Hell yeah, no problem. We're not feeling it for another 30 minutes anyways, so yeah. Another 30 minutes goes by and then you start getting that ball of energy feeling in your stomach and that's when you're like, oh shit, I took something. And that's when shit starts to get interesting. And also, check out my windows. So before the story gets interesting, I'm gonna go grab my beverage and pull up to a dope location to tell the story outside. Catch your boys at the store. Alright, back to the story guys. I just want to eat my chocolate bar real quick because I got the munchies. So let me set you down right, right over here. Chocolate bar, my thing. Oh, Henry. Oh, look at this. Break it. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, boys. Cheers. Mm. Mm hmm We got this baby too. Peach your breast. Oh yeah. This combo smacks. This combo smacks, boys. This is good shit. Oh Henry and Peach iced tea. My favorite thing, bro. 100%. So the 30 minutes goes by, right? Hold on, hold on. Let me get into story time mode. So the 30 minutes goes by, right? And I get that ball of energy feeling in my stomach. Almost like from this O. Henry. Not a sponsor. Mm. And you know, I'm looking out through the windows in his place, and I notice the sunlight coming through, and all the colors outside look a lot brighter. I wouldn't say more vivid, but a lot brighter. Like, it's almost just like a TV screen just blaring. So I can tell I'm starting to feel it, right? So I look at my bro Jonathan, and I'm like, yo, Jonathan, you feeling it? He looks at me, he's like, yeah, bro, I'm feeling something. We should go outside, like usual. Like most times I'm on shrooms, I always end up outside. It's just a thing. So we bail outside, think it'll be super fun, but we get out there and it is gloomy and overcast. I don't know what I was seeing through the window, man. Shrooms do weird things. I thought it was bright and sunny out there. I go outside and it is gloomy and overcast and depressing and I get a weird fucking vibe, bro. I just don't know. I'm just like, this shit's depressing, inside sucks, outside sucks, I'm like doomed now. That was my thought process, bro. I was like, I am doomed to have a bad trip now. Step outside here, boys. So yeah, I thought I was doomed to have a bad trip, which is not a fun time. That pretty much means you are, and I did. So I decided, let's go back inside, brother. Fuck it, I don't wanna be out here. But he's like, nah, man, we need to go for a walk. That's how you really get it working into your system. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I want it working into my system, bro. Like, hold on. He's like, yeah, we gotta get it over with anyways. So he fucking drags me on a long ass walk, bro. Long ass walk, brother. 
down, down, he had this trail that went down to the creek, and there was a sh whole lot of bear shit down there, and it scared the fuck out of me. So I was like, yeah, no, we're turning around. We made it down to the creek. We went up his tractor trail. We walked up the road, found a bunch of coyote shit up there, decided that wasn't the moves, because I don't want to be eaten by wild animals while I'm on shrooms. I don't know about you boys, but a wild animal encounter on shrooms would not be the moves. Walked back up to the tractor trail, onto the road, up the mountain, and then we walk down back to his house. Now, by the time we get back to his house, man, visuals of all around us started to slightly merge a little bit. All the trees at a distance looked like they had a, like a black outline, like someone went around them with just like a pen or something. And dude, oh my god, it was beautiful. But that's when I knew I was tripping balls. And when you know you're tripping balls, and you don't really have anything to do after you're done being all enamored with the beautiful shit. It's not a good time, bro. Not a good time. You don't want to be that high. So I'm looking at my bro, and I look him in the eyes, and he has massive pupils. Massive pupils, bro. Massive. Not good. So I'm like, yep, mine probably look like that too. Sure enough, I go inside and look in the mirror, which is never a good idea to do while you're on shrooms. Mirror, and fuck, um, dude, I got locked in front of that mirror for 45 minutes just staring at myself, thinking about how goddamn I am. And it was awful. It was awful. It got to the point where I was just like genuinely seeing my nose just grow bigger and all the features I don't like my, about myself getting worse and I could feel my depressing thoughts just taking over and myself going into the spiral loop of just terrible anxiety and depression and childhood trauma. Be honest, my life isn't perfect and I have a lot of shit I have to deal with and doing these kinds of drugs is not a good idea for anyone and especially not for someone like me. And my buddy gets worried about me and he comes out and he pulls me from out from the bathroom because it was a gross ass little dank bathroom. The toilet was disgusting. It was dark in there, not a good vibe. And we're just sitting on the bed. And he's like, yo, we need some food. And I was like, hell yeah. We go dig through his entire pantry. And sure enough, he had some pizza pops stored for us, bro. Pizza pops, fuck yeah. We had some pizza pops. And we had a couple suckers that he had left in the fucking little corner thing. And that was the best meal of my life. But after that, man, I don't know if the pizza pops were expired. Or if it was finally just fucking... Or if it was finally the painkillers and the shrooms mixing or something. But I got nauseous as hell. And Buddy pulls out a bottle of fucking whiskey, dude. A bottle of whiskey was not really something like I wanted to drink. But he was down because he hadn't done the painkillers, bro. So I said, fuck it. Let's do it. Back in the car because it's freezing now. I fucking agreed to take a couple shots of his whiskey. We literally just pour him up in his little nankled shot glasses. There's like dead mosquitoes and shit in there. Not the vibe you want, man. Not the aesthetic you want. But anyways, fuck it. I down my shots of whiskey, assuming the fucking alcohol is going to kill anything gross in the cup anyways. Guys, never do that. Never do that. It's disgusting. But yeah, that's what I did. And yeah, I got a solid buzz going within five minutes. Like spinning, the whole world was going crazy and I felt so nauseous, and this is where the trip takes a really bad turn. Because the world just started violently spinning, and I do not do well with nausea, and I could not handle it, bro. I ran to the toilet, and I threw up for, I'd say, an hour straight, violently, violently, the most vile throw up you've ever seen. It was toxic. That was horrible, bro. I'm so grateful to be okay and to be here today telling you this story because honestly guys don't do stupid shit like me this was just a terrible idea it was not fun it literally just made me throw up a shit ton yes i tripped balls a little bit yes i got the giggles yes i had like every trip has you can't describe a, a psychedelic experience unless you've had one so i'm not gonna try too hard to do that i'm just here to tell you guys my life story so if you want that and that's why you're here at this video, fucking go somewhere else. But yeah, I'm a little all over the place here. Um, yeah. Where's my freaking pens, bro? Let's... We gotta get the Benjamin City going. You know it, bro. You know it. You already know it.
Fuck. Pens aren't working very well. Let me just plug one of these in for a second. Double blinker city, boys. Ooh. Holy shit, that smacked. I just had to throw that in as a little extra at the end here. It's for my stoners in the video. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing the story. Believe me, I actually have so many more and I'm so excited to tell them. We're just upping the content quality slowly. We're gonna release them slowly so I don't run out of content and burn myself out. I do post five days a week every day a week. So do stick around, leave a like, subscribe. Come on guys. Also a little side note to all the fucking haters in my shorts videos and the Karens and the people that don't like my 420 content but for some reason watch it anyways and feel the need to leave dislikes and comments that are negative. I got my eye on you bro. Like chill, chill. You think I'ma end up dead because of cancer or some shit from weed that helps with cancer when you're so depressed you're out here spreading negativity and hate, man. I'm out here fucking living life trying to spread a positive vibe and entertain some people doing stuff I'm doing anyways. Fuck you. But yeah, that's my story. This is my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch y'all in the next one.